Welcome to the Gentleman Ultras pay-per-view with me, Richard Hall. Uh, we're just going to have a quick look over the papers today and just see exactly what's going on and if football's even going to come back at all in, uh, in Italy at the moment. Well, it was a lot of talk, uh, obviously, yesterday because the Bundesliga was back and we can see in Gazzetta della Sport, it's Haaland the antivirus, it says here. Um, it says Serie A starts in fits and spurts. Um, there's guarantees that are still needed before they can actually go ahead and start the season. But all Italian papers, it's Tutto Sport, Corriere della Sport, all saying that it's best to look to Germany to how to do it because the way they saw the season start um, over in the Bundesliga was uh, almost a, a model start, a perfect start. Um, you can see here it says uh, the Bundesliga had a spectacular start. This is Corriere del Sport, by the way, as Dortmund beat Schalke 4 0. Uh, no fans in the stands, masks on the bench, and celebration with a gesture that will go down in history. That's how impressed the Italians are with this. Uh, again, uh, in uh, Tutto Sport, thank you the Bundesliga, uh, but it still says that in Italy there's a lot of um, debate still to go on what measures need to be taken, how the players are quarantined, still a lot of questions asking if all the clubs can follow the, the procedures that we saw happen in the Bundesliga. So, what else other than our current unfortunate situation at the moment? Well, it says here that um, an interesting one here that... Um, Mauro Cardi may actually now stay at Paris Saint-Germain. There had been talk in the week that he may go back to Inter and then be sold on again. But it looks as though um, PSG and Inter will actually um, confirm that he will be sold to them at the end of the season, uh, which is no surprise. There was a call in midweek. Um, uh, well, that's when I say a call. Um, a few comments in Gazetta saying that wouldn't it be interesting if Martinez, Lukaku, and Icardi all teamed up? It would. It's not really going to happen, though, because it looks as though when Morata and Conte make up their mind, that's going to be a good night tomorrow. So, also, talking of transfers, a very interesting one here in Gazetta, uh, which is also followed up in the Corriere del Sport, when it talks of, um, potentially, Zlatan Ibrahimovic going to Bologna. Now, at the beginning of the season, we talked about this a little bit because Sinister Mihailovic and Ibrahimovic have got a good friendship and there was very strong links that he would be the one to go to um, Bologna and give a real focal point to what is the base of a very good team uh, over in Romagna. And so there was talk about it. Now it seems as though uh, he will be leaving Milan at the end of this campaign and the talk we will either go over to Bologna or potentially go back to Sweden, which is what it says here. Um, but Sinister thinks that he might be able to get the Swede. So that's quite an interesting one there. Other transfer news, um, <laughs> well, Cavani is linked with everybody, as per usual, definitely leaving PSG at the end of the season. Uh, been linked with Roma, been linked with Inter, been linked with Napoli. And that will continue, I think, until he makes up his mind. I think he will certainly not be, um, be short of suitors. Another one here that uh, Gazetta talk about is that Dries Mertens looks as though that deal to Inter is done almost. Uh, he leaves on a free at the end of the season and he would be good cover for Latoura Martinez and uh, Lukaku. Uh, Dries, Mertz, Dries Mertz has been linked with Inter for some time and it's very much looking as though uh, whilst there'll be competition for that, he has almost made up his mind there. So that's quite an interesting one as well. So, the final thing here is that there's continued rumours that Jorginho could go to Juve. Now that's quite an interesting one because originally there was talk of Pjanic uh, going over to Barcelona with Artur coming back in return. Uh, now, also there's been links with uh, Adrian Rabio, potentially now going to Chelsea with Jorginho in return. So lots of links with the Juventus midfield. There's obviously something not quite clicking there, but Jorginho looks potentially like he could team up with his old friend Maurizio Sarri again. So, lots of interesting rumours. We'll see. There's quite a few uh, days to go yet, obviously, before all of these moves start to take place. No one knows what's going to happen at the end of the season, but there's lots of talk that Italy do want to start, potentially on June the 13th, but we will have to watch this space and, uh, and see how it goes. Well, that's all for today, um, but we'll speak very soon, so ciao for now.